Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm going to continue and do another video in our foundation. This new video is going to allow us to basically rotate objects as they are selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing multiple AR objects in the scene. We're going to be touching each one of those objects in my device and then as I select them, they're gonna be rotated. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing, which is to basically do a placement rotation script. So in the previous video, I show you by creating a placement bounding area, how we could actually display a sphere with something is selected. So in this video, I want to basically add rotation and it's gonna be really cool because we're gonna be able to do the placement bounding area and also the rotation if we wanted to, or we could decide to use one and not the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a new script. This one is going to be a C-sharp script, of course, and it's going to be called placement rotation. Now what I'm going to do, instead of modifying this placement dragon, because I'm using it in other, in other scenes, I'm going to basically create a new one. So I'm just going to clone it. This one is going to be placement dragon with rotation, or place dragon with rotation. And then I'll just remove this one. And then I'll just drag it and drop it to create a new prefab. And we'll just say original prefab. So we create a brand new one. And then the next thing that I'll do is I'll go into the dragon statue and then we'll add our script here, which is called the placement rotation. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand it. And one thing that I wanna make a requirement is that this has a placement object component attached. And we also need to do type off. So that's going to be the requirement because that's where we're going to get the state of the placement object. So then the next thing that I'll do, I'll just say private and then placement object, placement object, and then we'll get that on the awake. So I'll just say awake, and then we'll just say placement object equal get component placement object. Excellent. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if placement object is selected then we we're gonna basically do our rotation so I don't need the stars so I'm just gonna remove it then I need to specify the speed so I'm gonna do a vector 3 to do that and this one is gonna be a speed or we can call it rotation a speed and this one is gonna be serializable and by default I'll just set it to vector we can just create a new vector which is gonna be 111 so it's just gonna be multiplied by that, so it's not gonna change unless we increment the value. And then the next thing that I'll do is I'll grant the transform, rotate, and then we'll just rotate by using the rotation speed. So the way that this is gonna work is we're gonna say rotation speed, and then we need to multiply by the time delta. And if we notice here, we can also tell it what we want it to be relative for. So we're gonna say space. We can just say self, I think that, that works. So you can say world space if you wanted to change it to world space. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into Unity and I wanna see if this is working. So to test it, we can simply just see play and we can see if our item, so it's not rotating because we are by default set it to false or selected. But as soon as I set it to true, you're gonna see that it's now changing. The rotation, it's kind of funny. It's, it's, so we wanna probably just, just start at zero, zero, zero. So let's go ahead and change this to be vector three, zero. That way I can control what I, basically what rotation I'm gonna have. And then the other thing that I don't wanna have here is I don't wanna have a placement bounding area. I think that looks kind of funny if I have both. So I'm just gonna remove this one. And then we can leave everything else be the same. So I'm just gonna hit override, apply to all. And I think everything looks good. And placement rotation, I'm gonna set a zero, zero, zero. And then we can hit play and see what happens. We can go back into our scene view. And then I'm just gonna change the value of Y. And of course we're not seeing changes because it needs to be selected. So I'm just gonna click on select. You can see how that is changing. We can, we can select X. And if we change also Y, so let me change it to zero, and we can do, we can see how that is, that is changing. Let me go ahead and change this to world space. 
and then hit play and see and see what happens. And we can go ahead and go back. I'm gonna just snap the game here so we can basically see the scene view right away and change it to true here. And then, yeah, I think that looks much better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a value. Let's see, I want it to be not as fast, but also not too slow that we can't really see. So the cool thing here is that we are seeing changes on the shadows and that's what I wanna see in AR. And you can see how lighting is affecting. If we get close, you can see how crazy, how cool that looks. So I'm gonna do 35 there and then let's just do 35 on Y and then everything else should be fine. So I'm just gonna override this. And then uh, now I'm just gonna delete it, and then we can go into our era session origin, and then attach our new place dragon with rotation under the place prefab. And I think we should be good to go now to test it in AR. So let me get this build, and then I'll have it. I'll show you how it looks on my phone. All right, guys, I have the scene built into my phone, and I also recorded a video so I can show you the results. So now if I go ahead and open it up, let me just get it launched see the unity logo now and right now this is the latest version that I just built and you can see that I'm basically doing plane detection out here in a field and I'm just gonna add a couple of statutes around you can see that the shadow so at this point I selected this I also changed the selection to the other statue and you can see how the shadows and the lighting affects the basically affects this component so it's actually really cool because it's really smooth. It's, it's running really well on my phone. So you can see that I'm changing a selection on this one. And let me add another one here. And you'll see that as I press that one, it also starts rotating and it looks, it looks really cool. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes for the channel and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.